Welcome everyone to the Art So Wonderful and Poetry Pioneer podcast. We have a very exciting show in store for us today. I'm Candace Owens. I am the owner and founder of Poetry Pioneer, and I will pass it over to my co-host Bruce to introduce himself. Hi, and thank you for being a, a winner on our podcast contest, on our, our Poetry uh, Pioneer contest. Um, and so I'm Bruce Wilson. I'm the um, director and um, general partner for Art So Wonderful. All right. Well, we have the reason I'm really excited today is we have a guest with us all the way from across the world. Nice. And I'm going to pass it over to Charm. Oh my gosh, I'm going to mess this up. Sh Charm Ray Verma. Okay. Hello, Miss Candace and the Art So Wonderful team and Bruce and everyone involved in organizing this podcast. I am Shauri Verma from India. I recently completed my schooling and I am currently preparing for an entrance exam called NEET, which is mandatory for admission to medical colleges in India. Um, let me share a bit about my journey in creating this poem. I first came across an advertisement that led me to the Poetry Beyond the website. Actually, I may have found that on Instagram. When I saw that it was an online poetry competition, I decided to participate because I always take advantages of every opportunity that comes my way. I believe everyone should. So I sat at my study desk, took a blank sheet of paper and started writing. For about two to three hours, I brainstormed different topics, but nothing seems to click. I spent the entire day thinking then just as I was about to give up, a poem suddenly came to my mind. I think many who write poem or songs can relate to this moment as you also have written a book. I've seen it, so you can relate to it. I grabbed another sheet of paper cause the new story begins to click. So wrote down the poem and found that it's really liked it. After designing it a bit, I submitted it to the competition. And a month later, I received an email from Miss Candice informing that I was the first place winner and I was invited to attend this podcast. Great news. Do you have the okay. words for your poem? Yes. Okay, so the title of my poem is Love's Own Story. So let me begin to read. In gardens where the moonlight softly gleams, love blooms eternal in our dreams. My words now fade like stars at dawn, yet this poem's tale will carry on. For love's own story, endless and bright, continues on through day and night. Though my words end, the love we share will weave its magic beyond compare. So here I pause, my pen at rest, knowing love's journey is the best. Incomplete this poem may seem, but love's own essence fills each dream. That's it. Thank you. Oh, beautiful. Thank wow. You. Nice, Sharia. That's that's a beautiful poem, and it's you know we're so thankful that you wrote that poem, and and really happy that you won first place. It means a lot to us, you know, to be able to. Let you showcase your um, your poem and um, write it and read it on our podcast. You know, many people look at our show and and we want to continue um, to try to help you in some type of way. And um, I think um, Candice will be able to uh, assist you in in getting your poem out there more and you know in ways that you think that we should help you with. And so we appreciate you. And I also owe you a certificate too. So I'm running behind on getting those done, but I will get that email to you. Okay, because. You, I feel like that's a way you can that way you can show it that you won. So, yes. All right. Well, um, do you have anything else you'd like to say to the audience today, or anything? Nope, I don't have that much to say. Actually, I have well, said too much English, and now English is not working my properly. You're doing great. I would have never known. Okay. You, thank you um, so much for taking. I know there's a huge time yeah. difference. So thank you for working with us to get you on here. And um, we will stay in touch. Okay. 
We are forever connected now. So if you need anything, you stay in touch, okay? Have a great day. You too. Thank you. You too, Sharia. Have a good day. Okay. So we're going to continue on, and our guest, I think, is going to be leaving the call. So we're going to continue on with our podcast. And how exciting was that, Bruce, to have them come here? And despite time zone differences and language yeah. barriers, we were able to make that successful. And yeah. I thought that one was absolutely beautiful. Sharia, she speaks real good English. You know, she read that poem so eloquently. And, and uh, you know, I thought she speak real nice English, so... So I'm glad that she was able to do. I'm that. not sure if it's a male or female, but I, I'm but I'm glad that they joined us. So I don't, uh, yeah. Thank um, you. I don't want to say that wrong if it is. So I just wanted to say that there. Um, mm -hmm. but so speaking of things that we want to talk about, I just want to bring it up because we mentioned the book, and so as you know, Bruce, I haven't really announced it to really any, well, I put it on social media, but I entered my book into a contest, an international book award, and it actually won an international impact award um, in the poetry contest. So they're having a show in February, or a live ceremony in February. It's super expensive. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to go, um, but it, it's, you know, still I'm honored to receive the award and it lets me know that writing is what I'm still meant to do. So I'm going to keep on doing that. And our current contest is still open for October with the theme of freedom. Mm -hmm. So that's super exciting. We've got a lot of participation for that. Well, you know, you got, you can't forget that you got, you also through your poetry, that you, I think you have like three songs, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's, so we have our three that. song. I wish we could listen to them. But, yeah, we have our theme song. Hopefully um, CCTV can add it to the beginning of the show before we kick on. Um, but that the please be kind. And then I had another one. Um, will you dare? I can't remember the name of it. Will you dare? But I'm actually thinking about starting my own YouTube channel just to upload those videos. And so if I do that, I'll share the information with everybody in case they're interested. Because I did find out that you do have the rights to the song. So it's completely... I create it, right? The computer, or people are scared of artificial intelligence. Well, it doesn't know what to do unless we tell it. So it literally does what you tell it to do. And all the yeah. words are my own. I just use the background for the music and stuff. Um, right. Ideally, yeah. I would love to get a real artist one day. But for now, I'm just doing what I can to put music behind it. I can't hear you, Bruce. Bruce, you mooted yourself. So, so I think it's a great, <laughs> my little tiny brain, you know, so, <laughs> so I think it's a great idea to um, create our own YouTube channel where we can upload our own songs and, and, um, and, and get all the credits that we deserve for it from them. I think that's a very smart thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, we should do that as soon as possible. I'll have to get working on that. My goal is, is to try to saturate, you know, we, we have all this other, I call it noise out there. Yeah. Um, yeah. music that they push on it that doesn't really have a lot of positive messages in it and I feel yeah. like that the world needs that right now not only no doubt. music no doubt yes no doubt about it the world does need it you know it's all about um love and happiness it's all about um you know the, the world uh how we're gonna all um, live together how we're gonna um, work with each other how we're gonna care for each other how we're gonna just you know be as uh, one as you in theory um and that's what we're just trying to do. We're just wanting everybody on the same page. And all our themes for our poetry contest is, is all about um, those things. And so and so, every time we get somebody to win a prize or even like our love, kind of love and faith, you know, um, uh, poetry, um, look how many people will, uh, have heard, are hearing this um, podcast and, um, and, and being able to share um, love and faith and it with with their friends or families or community or whoever the hell it is, you know what I mean? And so that's so that's all we want. That's all we want. You know, we don't we just want to figure out how can we all just can we just get along? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Can we just get along? You know what I mean? And just show some love in in this world and um just try to get past all the hardships and just um the, the, I'm gonna call it the devilish stuff that that we don't that that's not necessary. You know what I mean? It's like 
we just we have the power to be. We are the power. People are the power to be. You know, so so we're gonna continue to do this. And everybody who uh, sign up with us, we're hopeful that they you know they 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 um show the love and the faith and and our humanity. And I think that's what a good word, humanity. Humanity is that um that um we all try to share with each other. You know, and this love and happiness. You know, I mean, you know, it's it's a simple thing. You know, I mean, every day we just do something. You know, you know that you might think that's really little, like you know, I don't know, helping a lady across the street, or that's that's the traditional one, or just um you know um writing a poem, saying something good. You know, what I mean that you know you don't even have to share it, but just thinking your own mind, body, and soul. What you have just done for yourself, you know? and so every time you feel like you want, you feel like negative about something. You think about your your own uh, poetry or your own faith and love and mind, body, and soul stuff. And that's better in the world. Just just that alone. There it is. I think for sure. Um, I know that I, last week, I think it was, I actually did a, a little book event at a retirement community and mm. working with you know, people that have medical issues and dementia. And I got up there and started talking about, you know, affirmations and positivity. And it's, it's really when you get out there and you see those people that they are just grateful to have someone there that cares. And they told me it was so refreshing to see someone that, you know, I wasn't there. I mean, of course, if, if there was a couple of books that sold, that's fine, but that wasn't why I was there. I was there because I wanted to help bring joy to their day. And, you know, by me taking the time to see them and even ask them all, what's your favorite book to read? What do you like to do? Like things like that. And I feel like a lot of people need that in the world today because we're so, you know, everyone's walking around on their phones like this and, mm -hmm. you know, something's going on. Everybody's worried about getting pictures. Like, I think that presence is so important and, you know, that we can't change the world outside if we don't each change the world inside. Yeah. And so as we change our mindset, um, it changes the world around us. And so it may take a little while to happen, um, but it does. And, yeah. and so um, I think that that's why we do our themes too. Like we have the one right now, freedom, because you have the, the elections and all the noise mm -hmm. and things oh, going wow. on. Mm -hmm. And I think what we're forgetting to ask ourselves is what yeah. is freedom? And what does that mean to you? And depending on where you live in the world, freedom may mean something totally different depending, depending on restrictions or laws or location. But in the end, all of us have some view of freedom. And I think that we need to be grateful for just like our freedom to be able to get together and have these conversations. Um, right. for right. no, nothing too, like, you know, you sold over nine books. And the good thing about it was whether you sold, like you say, either one book, you you left a book for their library, you yeah. know, for them to come pick up and read and um just find some affirmations. And the good thing about your book, let's talk about it for a second, is that um it's a workbook. It's kind of like a it's a work affirmation book. So how do you see that work happening? How do you see people working in a book? I want to say by so daily, what I encourage them to do, you know, is they could put it beside their bed and just at some point during the day, because I know morning times, I try to do it every morning. That's definitely when you want to do it, because that's the best time to set your mind right. Um, but if you do that and just, you know, like if you're waking up, just like, you know, they're probably in a lot of pain. They all walk up, their bones hurt, you know, arms hurt. They're just like, oh, my gosh. And so what I was trying to explain to them was, is. You read what I say and you see whether it's me taking my emotion, because in the book I wrote an emotion and then I would write an affirmation to go with the emotion. So they were connected there and not all the emotions were bad, but some of them were And that affirmation switched that negative feeling to a positive one. And that's kind of the whole point of the book is for people to work along with me throughout that 60 days. And each day they read that affirmation to also write one with themselves because as you've taught me, Bruce, as long as I mean, I knew a little bit about affirmations, but we've really, you know, as I've been working with you, I've learned a lot more about them. Um, you know, it's more than just writing something down. You're you're intentionally putting that out into the universe or mm -hmm. into the ethers of I I'm this is what is gonna happen. And by writing it down, I feel like it really helps mm -hmm. your mind just reset and be like, you know what? I'm going to have a good day no matter what. But I, that could be your affirmation. I'm happy. That could be a simple affirmation. And throughout the day, you don't even have to write it down. Like I was telling them, if you're feeling hungry or you're not hungry, if you're feeling sad or you're feeling whatever, 
just repeat, no, I'm happy. I'm sad. I'm not. I'm right. happy. Um, and eventually it works. Oh, yeah. Just like you said, you know, like the good the book. Also, mm -hmm. like when you're practicing and you have and you have these emotions, like you just said. And I mean, like, you know, we all do, you know, God, or you hey, ho, how many times we say, Dear God, please, you know what I mean? <laughs> help me. God, help me. You know, how many times we say that in our life? Probably all day long, probably for me. Help me, God, please help me. But uh, the thing about it is that we have these emotions. And the book, you know, you can write in that book and say what that means to you, you know, what's your uh, thinking, add your attitudes and beliefs about those emotions, you know what I mean? And how can you come out with something? Um, even more, you know, something uh, pop, you know, help you make get better. Whereas you don't have those emotions. When you think of these emotions, you're already going to have the answer because you already did the work in the book about. You know, you already have done the work. So that's a good thing about it. You know, and it's, and it's not no uh, rocket science. It's just pretty much elementary. You just the, the the part about it is that we just need to think about it and figure out come out with a a good um answer that's um that's going to make us better for real. Not no guesswork. You know. That's so that's a good thing about it. And the other good thing about it too, it's like um you can look in that book next year and go back over it and see what your emotions was and and then you can um grade yourself how you've gotten better. Yeah, you know, I that's some good thing corrections that I wrote on day one now, and I'm like, what that's I mean, like I don't I don't know. I don't wake up with those thoughts anymore. You know, I'm like, how did I mean, don't get me wrong. I wake up some days and I'm just like, Ugh. Um, but I try to not say, you know, as I've learned, emotions are like a river. They come and they go and it's like water. They're going to constantly flow. But you have to observe the emotion and not become it. Right. Because if you get stuck in that, Ugh, it's an awful day, then literally your whole day is going to be an epic fail. Like you're going to be late for everything. You're going to, you know, hit the traffic, every red light. You're going to like, everything is going to, because your, your reality is going to reflect back what you think. It, 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 it doesn't know. Any <laughs> I had that happen to me like a month ago and I'm like, I'm doing it. I'm spinning. It's all going down. <laughs> And then every, and then another thing, what it teaches you too, like your book teaches you when you do the like a little, because I thought that was a brilliant idea. I didn't know you was going to put that in the book where it's like a, uh, I think we talked about it a long, long time ago about, you know, a work study kind of book that you, you know, affirmations or whatever that you can read and then um, put down your own thoughts about how, about the um, about the affirmations, you know what I mean? But but I'm telling you, one thing it always going to tell you, like everybody, like you say, how you doing? They're like, oh, you know. Different day, same old, you know, you know, stuff. You know what I mean? Not true. Look mm -hmm. back in your book yesterday, and it's gonna tell you how you. Oh, my stomach hurt it. My head was hurting. My side was hurting, and all these things about you that wasn't wasn't you felt that wasn't right. And today, your stomach hurt. Your your, my, your maybe your back's hurt a little bit, but you know what I mean. But still, each day is different. And not to mention that. You woke up this morning. That's how you can't get no bigger than that. That's the biggest thing ever. So, you know, people's like, oh, it's the same old thing yesterday, uh, you know, different, different days, same old, you know, S or whatever. You know, and you be like, you know, because first of all, you woke up this morning. That's number one. And and so that's definitely different from yesterday. So everybody gotta realize that it's a different day. It's a different attitudes and beliefs. It's um yes. The, the it's weather might be opportunity different. So if it is yeah. huh? Every day is an opportunity to create the life you want. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And yeah. so I think that's yeah. I think that's what we've lost too, is you said in humanity, we have forgot that we are creators. We are not um we can create, I mean, we we can be, we can create a song, we can create poems, we can create anything. You can, I mean, look what we've invented. Look at all the things that it, this is all from creating and thinking and brainstorming. And um, I think that we need to intentionally create and be like, let's create positive experiences. And hopefully from the book and all the things that we do, eventually it's going to become the new bad. You know, like if you're negative, people are going to be like, you know what? You're not, nobody wants that here. Go figure, you know, go find you some peace, figure it out, you know, and we all got to do that. We all got to take that time um, to take that moment. Yes. 
So just like our last IROM contest one, I know you are, your timeline is kind of short right now because you got to be at yeah. But anyways, um, so um, it's like I think her name is Shar Sharia. I'm Sharia. I don't know, sure guys. I just pronounce it with S S H O U R Y A. So I'm just Sharia. Well, Sharia. I saw. Him. We'll get it right one day. But you know the good thing about what she said. Wow, she looked at your writing. She looked at your readings. She grabbed a piece of paper. You know, she started writing. I mean, wow, man. How big is that? That's gigantic. You know what I mean? She just started writing poetry. And she, she looked at it. She, you know, it was no like, it wasn't no, like, maybe I'll do this tomorrow or maybe I'll do this next week. She's like, true. she was on it. Yeah, made it happen. She, she was on it, right? She made it happen, right? And she won for she deserved to win first place because she did not delay. She just like, and then yeah. she wrote what she felt. It wasn't about like, you know, I, I think it was love. What is it? Was it love the topic? Yeah, that was the thing, love. Yeah. So, and so, and she had like love and some, another couple of words after it. I forget what she said. But um, um, she, she wrote exactly what she felt, you know, and um, and so it worked for her. And then she get to recite, recite her poetry. Man, you know, and it's so beautiful. It was so beautiful. And so, yeah. like, you know, all, like, people like her or anybody, you know, not necessarily, well, people like her is, any, is like is like anybody because, you know, who's like her, it's about love and happiness and um, just want to do the right things, you know. And, we, you know, we want them to be a part of what we do and, and help us out, help themselves out. We want to continue to keep learning, too, about, you know, love, faith, well, the other winner, I'm still in communication with. Freedom. So my goal is once we connect, that we, you know, we're we're, we're partners together in this artistic journey, um, mm -hmm. or just, you know, the ability to just do that, like create, to sit down instantly. I admire that because I, we know I'm not the best at that. I'm really bad at be like, I'll do it tomorrow. Um, and sometimes it's like, <laughs> I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Me too. Um, Me too. Me too. I mean, I thank yeah. God for you, you know, because. Like, you know, I'd be like, please send me some light. You know, I'm like, ah, I need it. You know, and just send me some, some high pop, something from the high Well, pop. I feel like we're cutting the show super short this time, yep. but I kind of have to, because I have somewhere else I have to be. Sure. No um, but I do have a poem that I'm going to read us before hey. we conclude. And um, it's, it's title is to be free. So it's kind of going along with our freedom theme. And so I'll go ahead and do that. What does it mean to be free? Is it allowing you to be you and me to be me? Is it looking around and believing everything we see? Is it something we can never actually be? Is it something that we need to be awakened to find the key? Is it what they say is fate or destiny? What does it mean to be free? It means to be you and live authentically. It's being the light and trying to love and lead with empathy. It's accepting you cannot save anyone, and sometimes the best you can do is just agree. It's taking a moment to sit down and enjoy the flavor of a nice green tea. Being free is accepting the good and the bad and realizing that life has no guarantee. Being free is finding your passion and manifesting anything you want and stepping outside the family tree. Being free is living for life for pleasure or being free is living life for pleasure and not for money or worrying about obtaining a degree. Being free is loving you, loving others, and loving me. So what will you choose to be in a cage or to break free? Nice, nice. Uh, thank you for sharing that because, you know, that's our topic for now, right? Is It's freedom, right? And, yeah. um, and we need, you know, the world is, is incredible right now in the ways that, you know, you know, I, I can't even get the words out of my mouth how it is. I mean, especially when all the wars, you know, deception, um, lies, um, you know, just, oh, man, I don't know. Definitely, what, what I found positive about it, Bruce, is that I think that I've seen the first time in my life, really, is things are coming out. You know, mm -hmm. things that have been hidden are coming out. And to me, it, I, my eyes light up even more and I get excited because I'm like, that's good. That means, yeah, there's a lot of bad stuff coming out, going on, but all the things that's been done in the dark for years and years and years, it's coming out. 
And so, yeah, it's some of it's not so good and we don't want to face it. And we're like, no, 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 no. But it is in reality what is happening. And uh, once we accept that, we can forgive, you know, humanity and be like, okay, bad choices were made. Things went on that shouldn't have, but let's move on. Um, And I think that's kind of what's made me and that there is people out there like us and other channels that are willing to use their voices and put this kind of content out there, um, you know, and network and connect across the world, despite anything, you know, I have, despite all the political tensions, you know, that doesn't cause us from having other people from across the world here. Like we have no, there's no drama or any issues inside my, well, besides with my 10 year old, he's, he's causing that, that age. I think we talked about it, Bruce. It's whew, Preteen. I know. I'm like, oh, <laughs> <boy>. <laughs> you're killing me. Um, but anyways, that's one thing that I really, I think we both, our mission is, is mm. to keep things positive, spread the light and, you know, to use our platform to elevate those that also are the same. And I think our guest today, just by the words that were spoken, it's clear to show that their heart is in the same place as ours, you know, seeing the beauty um, and love or anything in the world. Like, go outside and appreciate how pretty the detail of a leaf is. If you've ever looked at it, the details that are put into the leaf, they're all different. They all, it's like a snowflake. And I think when you appreciate those minor details, it makes everything beautiful. Well, thank you, Candice R. Owens. You know, um, thank God for you and uh, all, all the wonderful things who you are and share with people and, and uh, your, um, you know, you, I learned a lot from you, like, you know, we got to bring, you know, like uh, heaven on earth, you know, I still bring, I just bang in my head all, every day. And wow, how wonderful is that? So I know you got to go. Yeah, so, um, thank you again for taking the time and thank you to our guests for joining us. It was a pleasure. And um, here's some more great things to come. So, yay. all right. All right. Thank you. Have a good rest of your day. All right. You too. Bye. Bye.